In today's episode of the vlog, I'm going to be doing a roundup of some of the best cheesesteaks we tried in Philadelphia, a city known for its food and its cheesesteak sandwiches. We were told explicitly to avoid the two famous Philadelphia cheesesteak places, Pat's and Gino's, for being too touristy. So I've relied on my 190,000 subscribers, you guys watching right now, to decide the best places I should try. And I followed your advice, starting right here at Delisandro's. Thank you. Please only stand in the... I think that's gonna be the good one. Apparently this is the best in the whole city. I've been informed by a number of people. Dallas Andros is the place to be for a cheese day. And there's a huge queue. But um, I tell you what, it's, it's flipping freezing out here, so we're not gonna eat it outside on the street. We're gonna probably eat it in the car once we get it. It's like a 15 minute wait. I've never seen a wait at any of these cheese day places yet. This is the first time that that's happened to us. I've got high hopes. All right, this is a bit unconventional, but we're eating um, Delisandro's cheese steak in the car, in the hire car. That's honest truth, it was too cold to sit outside, and the light in here is not good, but you know what? We're going with it. Mine has whiz and American cheese and onions in this one. And it is enormous. This might be the, the sandwich to end all sandwiches. And it's dripping, great. This cheesesteak has been chopped up so finely. It is like the consistency of mint. I don't know. I would like to know your thoughts if you have cheesesteaks. Do you prefer the steak to be chopped up really finely? Or do you prefer it to be in the consistency of like chunks of steak. This is very mincy and I would say it's probably not my favourite one. Oh I love them. It's not, it's not, obviously it's really good but I think the one we had yesterday was maybe better. I like it because I like mince. Mm. I think Taco you would say it's your favourite one right? I don't know because yesterday was really good. It's different, I'm, it's a surprise. It's very different yeah. For me, the one yesterday was definitely better, which was... Angelo's? Angelo's. I'm not a connoisseur in these things. Let's see. If I have to, tomorrow, if I have to <laughs> eat another cheesesteak, I would choose Angelo's again. Yep. That was a truth. The second cheesesteak on the list was Angelo's, as recommended to me by Rocky from USA Kilts and his team. We are tonight, first of all, picking up Angelo's cheese Angelo's cheesesteaks. And second of all, we're going to a game. What are we going to see tonight? We are going to see the Philadelphia Flyers get their butts handed to them. <laughs> and for me as a Scottish person, this is the first time I've ever been to an ice hockey game. I've heard the fans here in Philadelphia can be really passionate as well, so I'm looking forward to a bit of that. Alright, that we are. Alright, it's cold now. Rocky has given me a Flyers hat I can wear. It's needed because it is absolutely freezing. So that there is the Wells Fargo Center. Center. I don't want to say stadium. So I want it's, it's split between the Flyers, who put on ice obviously, and then the Sixers, who are a basketball team. There's not much tailgating going on around the stadium tonight. I think it's too cold and it's too midweek. But um, that will not stop the diehards. Yeah, it will not stop us from doing it. We've got the chairs. <laughs> We've got some cheers, we've got some beers, and we've got some steak sandwiches. Look at that. We are civilized tailgaters. Of course we have a table. Tables and everything. Came prepared, look at that. I've got beer. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, you do it right. Yeah. Brilliant. Oh, okay, I always said I wanted to go tailgating. I was too embarrassed last time to get involved with all the other tailgaters last time I was at a game. But um this is this is it. We're doing it. Absolutely. I'm excited. Get our cheese steaks, we'll be good to go. Yeah. I feel like the only thing that might be missing is like a bonfire in the middle. <laughs> Alright, got sandwiches, got a beer. Stadium's right there behind us. Uh, cheers. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Sludge. Sludge Alright, so what are we drinking? We've got. This is Perpetual IPA. Nice. It's. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it's as high. Well, now I'm lying, it's 7.5%. So. Oh well. Two or three of these and we'll be taking a nap through the second period. <laughs> temperature wise, what temperature is it? Well I reckon it must be not not a million miles off zero. But in, in, <laughs> in Celsius. Celsius. It, yeah, it's 41 in Fahrenheit. Three degrees Celsius, so that is very that's that is 
as we would say in Scotland, a bore hair off freezing. <laughs> well, we've got cheese steaks. I don't know which one's which, are they both the same? Yeah, both the same. Alright. I'm only having half of mine. Tech is gonna have the other half because we already had like ice cream and all sorts today. <clears throat> Goodies. Rocky was taking us around Philadelphia today. We saw a lot. And that other video is already gonna be on the channel. I will put the link down below if you haven't seen it. This is the follow-up. First time experiencing a tailgate or tailgating. Oh, we got seed roll. Nice. Good option. This is my sandwich. That's pretty big. I'm gonna take half of that and give it to Tucker. But that is a that's a serious sandwich. Look at that. Yeah. So we got seeds. Yeah. Not all Philadelphia cheesesteaks come with seeds on the roll. This one has seeds. This is from Angelo's. Um, it's like falling apart. It's shredded, shredded meat, and either American cheese or cheese whiz. Um, We've been getting cheese whiz the whole time. And, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> you said you know that's not always the way, right? You can get no, American cheese. No, I'm, I am, I'm 100% American cheese. Okay. Much, much better. All right, let's do this. Hmm, that's pretty good. Oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. The steak is like, I don't know, meaty. It's chipped. Mm. It's aged, mm -hmm. chipped beef. Um, yeah, and it's and usually they use uh, Amorosa's rolls. These are not Amorosa's, mm. but Amorosa's is a nice, like doughy kind of roll. Mm. You want the meat to be moist enough, but not like runny. That like there's water and grease everywhere. Yeah. Just a little bit of moisture in it, um, and then the American cheese kind of. Uh, some places actually just put it in the bottom of the roll. Mm -hmm. Some places actually mix it in with the meat. Um, I like what it mixed in. Yeah. But yeah, it's good. It's really good. This is the quintessential Philadelphia food. It is a thing of beauty. The third cheesesteak on the list was Ishka Bibbo's on South Street, a famous Philadelphia institution. All right, whiz and onions for me. Tekka got whiz and provolone. Uh, this one came highly recommended. I think this one, and a lot of the places I've been on this trip have been recommended by people who watch my videos. So I've got high hopes. This one was much more kind of like street, if that makes sense. It was on the street. It was a lot of different types of people coming and going. And it looks famous, because on the walls it had lots of pictures of famous people's Famous people who had been there and eaten cheese sticks. So, second cheese steak of Philadelphia. I have high hopes. I think there it is. There, that is a good stuff. Filled with whiz. I'm learning the lingo. Whiz and onions. That's what you asked for. Whiz is like the squeezy gooey cheese that they put on it but you can also get provolone as well mm. okay this one is definitely definitely tastier than yesterday this one is ishka bibbles <laughs> don't know how you pronounce that it's definitely tastier than the one from yesterday. Number four on my list of cheese sticks to try was Campos, a place recommended to me by many of my viewers. Oh, 
There's a little bit of meat coming out of that. So? Good. <laughs> Meaty. Cheesy. Greasy. Greasy. <laughs> that right. Also, in the States, the other thing I just get on board with very heavily is the fact that your soft drinks has full sugar. I'm just going off her stock, that's all. Mm. I don't know if there's aspartame in there, but there's not much. Number five on the list isn't really a cheesesteak place at all, but it is a famous Philadelphia sandwich and I think deserves to be on this list. The Knicks in the Reading Terminal Market. The iconic sandwich, known just as the roast pork, features succulent roast pork, sharp provolone cheese, and garlicky broccoli, all nestled within a fresh baked roll. The thing's like dripping. This is really, really good. Mm. Oh my god. I think I'd like to try the brisket version of this as well. But the pork, which is never my favorite meat unless it's on a rib or with bacon. But this pork is very good. We have a famous pork sandwich in Edinburgh. In fact, we've got a couple of them bull pork, oink, with haggis. And to be honest, this is really good. Don't get me wrong, no disrespect, Billy. I think our oink, bull pork, rolls with haggis on them. Might edge these out, to be honest, in a competition. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I've already got honorary citizenship for San Antonio and Texas, but I don't think I'm going to get one for no. Philadelphia after saying that. This is good. I think the cheesesteak is nicer. I feel like eating the sandwich at Tommy Denex is like a big tick of the things you need to do in Philadelphia. I'm just trying to think, like, I know that that is a very popular sandwich among local people who live here in Philly as well. Thank you very much for joining me on these adventures to Philadelphia and Washington DC. This is the end of this series, and a huge special thank you to Rocky from USA Kilts for kitting me out with a brand new kilt from the American Dream Tartan. Check out USA Kilts for more information. And don't forget also to check out my brand new website, www.seantakesamerica.com, for a full rundown of everything you see on my channel. In a future series, you'll see me exploring the American South, and I very much look forward to kicking those vlogs off in the very near future. And for those who are missing Scotland content, I have a channel dedicated to Scotland, I'm not sure if you knew about this, but it's called Dreaming of Scotland. All the links for that will be down below, make sure you go and head over there and subscribe if you're interested in Scotland. So until the next one, thank you very much for watching. Take care.